All right, what's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of the T-Moss Boss Show. And in today's episode, so there's a reason why I'm titling this episode Do Right by People because I personally feel that there are people in this world where they, and the thing is this, like, I'm, I'm trying to be as secretive as I possibly can be with this episode without telling you guys why I'm doing this episode. But I would like to hope and think at some point in time, The people that have done me wrong, they will hear this episode and they will be like, dang, he's talking about me, but he's using his creativity to not name drop me, all right? Because I will have to say, in the recent years, I've had people do me dirty, all right? Pause on that. But regardless, jokes aside, I have had people where they have done me wrong, and they just go on about their business. And the thing is, is this. I'm not trying to make it seem like that I'm this big, powerful person. I'm not trying to make it seem like that people got to kiss the ground that I walk on. They're like, you know, like, I don't want people to look at me as a high figure. I expect people to take motivation from me, but not to overall, like, bow down to me and go, like, just crazy about that type of stuff, right? But... In between all of that that I just said, right, I at least want people to respect me. You know, that's that's the one thing that I ask for. It's like, you don't have to like me. You don't have to dislike me, but at least respect me. Now, throughout the years, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to like, because I don't want to talk on nothing. I don't want to like, you know, give people any hints or, you know, let people know like what the situation is. But in the recent years, well, not in the recent years, I have to say like in the like range of some years okay in the range of some years you know i've came in contact with people where at first it seems like things are okay it seems like things is chilling and eventually it gets to a point in time where i feel that something falls off you know like there's just something i i don't know if it's mentally or just spiritually whatever the situation is but something falls off And I take notice of that type of stuff. I take notice of when a person's behavior change. I take notice of when, like, just when people change as a whole. And I've went through that change, but that's one thing that I can say about me. Like, if I could just talk about myself real quick. And this is where I had to say, like, this is where the motivation comes in, right? Regardless of what people have done to me, I never take that um, anger out on other people. I don't change for nobody, all right? The same, my thing is this. I can go through some stuff, right? Prior beforehand, if anything's, I have to say I'll become more wiser and try to be more create, like creative when I do, you know, if I come across a friend, family, whatever the situation is. But anyways, beforehand, whoever you dealt with, that's the same person you're going to deal with after I go through some stuff. Ain't nothing going to change. And I would like to hope and think that that's going to be me for the rest of my life. But I don't see anything wrong with that. I don't see myself jinxing myself on some stuff like that where it's like, oh, you know, it's it's like God's ways of like, oh, well, let me put it to the test. I don't see what's wrong with being cool with somebody, you know. So that's why I'm like, it confuses me when others do that because of whatever it is that they've gone through. And I'm like, fam. I don't know what it is that you've gone through or that you're going through, but that ain't got nothing to do with me. And I'm not trying to sound insensitive, but at the same time, you're going to have to let that stuff, when it starts interfering with me, you're going to have to let that stuff go. Because I don't know what else to tell you. That's, that's honestly the best possible advice that I can give to somebody that wants to do something to me out of anger or whatever the situation is. I'm like, fam, that ain't got nothing to do with me. So that's why I'm like, it trips me out how people, they carry on like that. And I'm like, bruh, I, no, don't, don't get me involved in whatever you got going on. If you got some stuff going on, I'm sorry to hear that. But again, that ain't got nothing to do with me. Hold on. Let me clean my glasses real quick. Even though this is a podcast episode, and I don't need, really need to use my glasses and stuff. But anyways, I should do a podcast episode without my glasses. I don't feel like nothing would change, but I feel like things would get a little bit more difficult and stuff. I'm not even reading anything. I'm just improvising when I do talk and all this stuff. But 
anyways, that's more of a personal uh, matter, though, where it's like, you know, just on some personal things where I just feel that there are people that I know where they've gone through some stuff. And then if it's like if me and their paths ever crossed and they feel that they need to project out that stuff on me and I'm like, fam, I ain't did nothing to you. You know, if you don't sit down and take the time to bother to give me that chance of whatever it is, whether it's a friendship, whether it's a relationship, whether it's, I'm trying to think of some other stuff, but just a bunch of different personal things. I'm like, fam, whatever happened to you beforehand, I and I, that's something that I can, I can partially understand myself, that there's a trust level, you know, that I have with people, and I don't allow too many people to cross, at, at least the thing is, is this, like, you know, I, I might allow people in my life, but I don't allow them to, I feel like I can know when somebody is like, okay, you know, they just want to take advantage of me, or they actually want to be, you know, cool with me, and that's something where I'm like, no, I, I, I take a lot of notes from that. Like I, I pay attention to those types of things. And that's something where I'm like, not name dropping anybody, but I just personally feel that there are people out there. I guess, you know, if, if I could say anything about it, I would say with content creating, you know, like there's people out there where it's like they won't support you throughout your journey, but they expect you to support them on their stuff. And I'm like, that's not how that works. That, that is definitely not how that works. I will not support. My thing is this. And that's like, that's, that's just me. I guess, how can I put it in words? You know, overall, I, I'm just not a sucker for that type of stuff. You know, it's like where you're expecting me to just bend over backwards for you, but you ain't going to bend over backwards for me. That's not uh, that's not how that works. And then, you know, what were some other examples? I'm not going to scratch your back and all you just do is kind of, poke at my back a little bit that's not that same level of respect because my thing is this i the thing is with people you know i'll go out my way to support them just because i genuinely care for their career and all that stuff i really don't be expecting anything back because i'm like there's so many times like there's content creators that i did support at one point in time where they're not even content creators no more i don't hold that against them i don't hold nothing against them i wish them well in life and that's how that you know just that story is gonna end and things but with others you know i just personally feel that there are at times where i can stream I can post a YouTube video, I can post a TikTok, I can post a podcast episode. Funny thing is, I can post all those different things, talking, excuse me, talking, like I can post all across social media, talking on this very same topic, right? Nobody bats an eye at it, nobody talks about it, none of that stuff. But we'll sit and turn around, okay? Or stand, whichever they're doing, but expect me to support them on whatever they got going on. Yet, they haven't heard this podcast episode, haven't heard any of my other podcast episodes, only show like the bare, the thing is this, and it's it's okay showing the bare minimum of support. You know, I can't go and support all my friends like at the same time, but I try to show them the most amount of support. I do things for my friends where I haven't seen others do for them. You know, and they probably have, but I'm like, I, I would have to say like for myself, it's like, I'll sit down and take the time to shout out one of my friends, even if it's somebody that I just met. If it's like, so for an example, it's somebody that I just met through like uh, streaming, right? I might have only have been to one of their streams, but I can tell based off of that one stream, I know everything I need to know about that person. And I know that that person will be a good friend. They'll do right by me is me doing right by them. So that's why I'll sit down. I'll take the time to shout them out, whether it's a video, podcast episode, TikTok, whatever the social media post, whatever the situation is. I sit down. I take the time to do stuff like that. You know, can I say people have done that for me? No. But the thing is this. I'm not going to lose any sleep over it. I if I'm on my thing is like if I'm going to lose sleep over anything. I feel like I, I say that a lot that I never lose sleep over stuff. The only time if I am losing sleep over something, if it's something that I'm like in control of myself so like for an example with content creating you know like i'll struggle at times trying to like figure out like what video am i going to do what podcast episode am i going to do what tiktok am i going to post you know what social media posts can i make and things like what can i overall do to better myself that's the only time if i'm ever losing sleep at night where it's like i didn't accomplish enough i didn't do enough you know that'd be the only time but other than that anything else 
not gonna lose any sleep over it and things and even over um this topic where it's all like you know the stuff that i'm talking about i'm not gonna lose right i'm i guarantee i promise you right after this podcast episode i'm gonna go on about my day-to-day life as if it was um, any other day of the week so to those out there that are listening, to those out there that are watching, however you're viewing this episode, you know, the moral of this whole podcast episode is that I'm motivating y'all to do right by people. Because at the end of the day, you never know when you're going to need those people, all right? I feel like I kind of got a little off um, subject and things, and you know, I'm, I'm back now, I'm back. But regardless, though, you shall always, and I mean always, do right by people. Because again, you never know when you might need those people. And I know there's a lot of people, and I even think like this at, um, myself at times, where I don't need nobody's help. You don't know that. There's at times, my thing is this, there's at times where I'm doing a stream and I'm like, man, I wish somebody was in this stream right now just talking to me. Not being weird, not being a hater, not trying to gain something from me or not trying to take advantage of me. Just me and this person having a casual conversation. I love those types of streams. I love streams because those are the streams where I can see myself streaming for a long period of time. Where it ain't a forced stream. It's not something where I'm all like, man, I really don't want to be here right now. But it's one of those streams where I can sit down, get lost playing whatever video game, be sitting down talking with friends, whoever, you know, just sitting down talking with them about day to day life things. I love streams like that. I love a stream where it's like, it's not even. It's not even a fan in um, their favorite streamer stream. It is two people sitting down talking about life. That And that's something where I'm all like, you know, I, I take pride in that when I can have those types of streams. And it's just not some stuff where it's all like, oh, you know, let me let me see what I can gain from this streamer. Let me see. Because that's something I feel like I have to talk on a lot where it's like I just recently I had to do that where I had to change the rules of my or not change the rules, but add a description of my stream of the rules on there because people want to come in there and they want to take that time to promote what they got going on. And it's like, well, what about what I got going on? You know, you won't sit down, take the time to come to my stream and start talking about what you got going on. Well, what about what I got going on? What about all the content that I'm doing? How, how about that? You know, and I'm probably going to lose friends. I'm going to probably lose followers after doing this podcast episode. But fam, this is how I genuinely feel. You know, my thing is, is this. Whenever, you know, and just talking to anybody that wants to be that type of person where you want to sit down, take the time to promote yourself, but you don't want to sit down, take the time. You got that time and that effort to go across my platforms and promote yourself, but yet you can't even check out what I'm doing. I don't care if I'm doing a whole lot. I feel like that's doing a whole lot where you got to go to another person's platform and start promoting yourself. But I've had to t- I had to change my rules on that because that happens way too often. I just had somebody do it not too long ago. Came to my stream talking about follow for follow. I banned that person because I'm like, this isn't what that stream is. This stream is to watch me play a video game or whatever form of content that I'm doing because I know I've done streams. Have I done streams where I've reacted to videos? Oh yeah, I have. I've done streams where I've reacted to some videos. I've done streams where I've made music. A majority of the time where I'm streaming, I'm playing the video game. That's why I'm um, streaming. I'm not streaming so you can promote yourself. That's not how that stuff works. But I, I'm telling you, like when people be doing stuff like that, I really be wanting to go onto their stream, see if they're streaming, go onto their stream and be all like, hey, everybody, follow me. This streamer wants to do that in my stream, so I'm going to do it in their stream. You know what website has it bad for doing stuff like that? Kick. So I definitely recommend if you plan on starting a streaming career, if you start on Kick, just be um, careful of those people where they come to your stream and be like, oh, follow for follow. Come join my stream. See what I got going on. All this other stuff. And I'm like, fam, I'm not here for that. Um, I'm not here for that. You know, the thing is, and I know people are going to probably be all like, well, how do you expect people to support you if you ain't going to sit down and take the time to support them? I'm like, look, whenever you have the chance or the time to watch any of my, I'm not forcing people to watch my videos. And that's something that I've always have stated when it comes to stuff, topics like this or topics if I'm dealing with haters. I don't force people to watch my videos. In fact, you never have to watch my videos. You never have to support me. You can unsubscribe, unfollow. You can stop watching my videos, stop joining my stream, stop listening to my podcast. I do not care what the situation is. Whatever it is, you very well can stop it. But the thing is, is this, all right? And it stems all the way back to what I had just said, maybe a few minutes ago. Just show what I got going on with a little bit of respect. That's it.
That's all. That's all. I feel like that's the main thing when it's like when you talking on this whole topic of doing right by people overall, a.k.a. what that means is just respect them. Respect what they got going on. Respect, you know, their platforms. Respect their social media accounts. Respect them as a person. Because even outside of content creating, I can talk on some stuff when it comes to personal life matters where it's like, He'll be somebody that you know that you so-called claim, or not even that you so-called claim, but they more so so-called claim that y'all are friends. But turns around and, you know, they do some stuff where it's like, you, you, how would that make you feel if I were to do that same thing to you? You know, it's like there's, there's some situations I can think of that's happened to me in the recent years where I'm all like, huh, wow. You know, you do right by people, but when it turns and when it's on, on some stuff where it's like they got to do right by you, it, it's almost as if like they're sacrificing something, you know, and I'm like, I, yeah, that's why I'm like going into the year 2024. I'm like, hey, look, if that's how you feel, if it, if it has to be on some stuff where it's all like I'm supposed to be this nice, forgiving person or whatever and, you know, just allow people pretty much. Yeah, just allow people to walk all over me. I'm like, I, I that's never been me. But just in case, you know, just to be on this whole, like, you know, New Year uh, talk and all that stuff, that ain't going to happen. So if, if, if that upsets you, if it upsets you that I'm not going to be one of those people that bends over backwards for you because, uh, you know, that's what a friend's supposed to do. But you can't sit down, take the time to just not nah, it, fam, you ain't even got to do like a full 90 degree angle of bending over and um, backwards for me and stuff. But but just a, a little bit, a little bit of help. That's it. But if you or just not, but not not even so much as help, but just respect. Let me let me change my words on that because people are gonna try to turn it into something else, and that's not with. But just a, a little bit of respect, all right. But it's like it's my thing is this: as soon as I feel disrespected, that's it. It's over with. I'm like I'm not giving people three strikes. This <laughs> from this time forward, you get one strike with me. After that. You can go and do whatever you want to do in life, but I'm going to be sitting over in my little area minding my own business, all right? So, anyways, and that being said, I will talk to y'all later. Again, do right by people. I hope you guys picked up some sort of adventurous information uh, from this episode. If not, I will probably most likely do more episodes to just, you know, kind of let y'all know it's like yeah it's it's good to do right by people all right so but anyways and that being said i will talk to y'all later thank you guys for watching and or listening stay tuned for the next episode make sure you follow me across all social media platforms at t moss boss and peace